On the third day of stunt jumps, I decided to switch off to Trevor and do this jump. Don't ask how we got this bike. It just appeared before our eyes somehow. We did back-to-back -back jumps with Frank right after that and made that jump. Ended the episode by finding another Easter egg. Hill Valley Church, if you want to see why it's an Easter egg, you can go ahead and check out that episode. I'm back with Frank. Welcome to a new episode of Click Fireball Media, home of hacks slash PC and console games. It's going to be the 83rd day in the series, and I still have more stunt jumps to complete as well as other activities. There are timestamps in the description of the video in case you want to go ahead and check those out. Also, if you haven't done it yet, you can leave the video a like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell would be much appreciated. Now let's just go ahead and switch off to Trevor. We're going to be doing our first stunt jump. We just have to find it. The man okay, is... Okay, so they're all dead. Kind of drunk right now. Let's just give him a little bit of time. And I think he's good. So let's just make our way to the car. Slowly but surely. Man's still kind of faded right now, but eventually we'll get to that truck. At the door. Hey, we made it. Let's just look around in case there's some sort of rogue driver that wants to run people over for some reason. But here we are. New waypoint is marked and we have arrived at our new destination. It's kind of a place we've been to a number of times. Just drove right past it. Now we just got hit by a police car. Don't know why we got hit by a police car, nor why the police are chasing us, but we have to make this jump. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're airborne now. And it's not looking good for us. Oh, hell no. Hey, the good news, Trevor survived that jump. The bad news, we're going to have to do this again. Once I figure out how to get the hell out of here. Because currently we're kind of stuck. Just going to be inching this out of here. Give me a second. I got this. It might not seem like I got this. But understand this. I got this. You see that? Out of there. Went for another attempt right after that and watch what happens. Just smacked right into the pole. And the truck got stuck in between the garbage can and the building. Eventually I found myself a motorcycle and now a shortcut. Back to the ramp and I'm looking at it and it seems like I've been tackling it the wrong way the entire time. I'm going to be going down here this time instead of the other way and I'm just going to be trying it one more time. Watch what happens here. I got it. And we completed another stunt jump. Now let's get out of here. We need to go towards our next stunt jump and that's going to be right here on the map. It's a place that we've been to while we were racing Marianne. We just didn't make that jump. This time though, we got a motorcycle and not a bike. Landed it. 37 stunt jumps completed so far. So let's get back on the map. I think I'm going to be chasing down one more stunt jump which is here on the map looking at my right and there's the quote unquote ramp that's where we're supposed to jump let's find some space 
I'm going to be charging forward and hopefully we'll land this jump. I don't know what's going to happen yet. This is my first attempt. And we're going. Let's do it. We're looking good so far. Okay, not so good. Okay, we are looking better. Okay, back to bad. Now, worse. At least we made it. And we got 36 more stunt jumps to go. As of today, I am done with the stunt jumps. So let's just go ahead and switch off to Frank. We're going to flight school. And we just arrived. Just need to find a parking spot. Let's get out. Head up the stairs and just start it. And we're back in the menu. Helicopter speed run. This is another helicopter lesson, but with a real emphasis on speed this time. Finish the obstacle course around the city before the timer runs out. And try not to crash. At the end of the course, you'll be required to safely land your helicopter. Did I ever tell you that I'm not really too crazy about helicopters in this game? Anyways, let's just get this started. Remember, this course is all about speed. And to maximize acceleration, keep the nose of the helicopter tipped. Just bear in mind that you're also losing altitude when the nose is pointed down. Okay, got it. Let's just lower our elevation. Good work so far. Keep her at full speed. Now, let's just go a little higher. The checkpoint's kind of up there. Did we get it? Good. We got it. All right, on to the next one. And we're getting close to the next checkpoint. Just past it. This one's kind of tricky. So let's just start turning right now. That's it. You are blazing now. Didn't even know we hit the checkpoint. I thought we missed it. All right, let's raise our elevation. Awesome! And get ready for another turn. This one's going to be a little bit tighter than the last one, so let's just start turning prematurely. This. And we got it. Let's align our helicopter with the checkpoint to make sure we get it. That's it! There's another one right there. Let's lower our elevation. Look at solid. This one is going to be kind of tricky right after this checkpoint. You're looking good. Let's try to keep the helicopter steady. Got the first one. This part is going to be kind of tricky right here. Going to have to make a hard left and not slam directly into that building. And we got it. Let's go to the next checkpoint. We're almost done. Bring the helicopter down gently onto the helipad. Let's try to do that. I'm not really too good at landing this thing gently. That's one thing I have to work on in my helicopter game. Getting caught closer right now, so let's lower the helicopter and damn. Thought my bounce would actually land me inside the box. Didn't really do any of that. Try one more time, right, and we got bad. it. You made decent time. That's what's up. And we pass helicopter speed run. Switching off to Mike. I gotta go. You guys keep watching. Seems like they're having a little family time. Let's get out of here. There's gotta be something else on. Michael's good. A different man. And I have something planned for today. I hope you ain't talking to the cops. Haven't done this for a few days, but hold on. Hold on. I need a change, actually. 
I forgot we turned Mike into Mike Payne. And he needs the Mike Payne outfit. So let's switch the shirt. Here it is. Right here. So we got it on. Let me see if I can actually get some glasses on this guy. For some reason, it's not letting me do it. No sports shades, street shades, or glasses. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the time of day. Either way, after a little bit, I decided to go ahead and have Mike call Frank. We're not going to be doing the entire hangout session or anything, but let me make this call. Hold on. Hey, Frank, how about we hook up for some R&R? &R? Yeah, all right. I can kick it with you again. All right, I'll be there soon. So we got things set up. Mark the waypoint. They had a few drinks right after they hung out. I decided to have a shootout. Because why not? I also want to test something else out, which is what would happen if Mike Payne was invincible. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. Getting on the phone. One, nine, 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 seven, two, four, six, five, four, five, five, three, seven. That should do it. And there it is. We have our five minutes switching over to the grenade launcher and just blowing this fan up. This is going to be getting the attention of the local authorities that should be here in just a couple of seconds. Let's blow up that car over there. Oops. Not see that guy run into that car, but he's gone now. Rest in peace. And why not blow up our own car too? Because we're 100% committed now. There's no going back after this. Also, we can probably get a new vehicle pretty quickly. Got the rail gun out, blew up one car. There goes another one. One more patrol vehicle has shown up. Gone. There's nobody behind me. And where's Frank? You know what? I have no time for that. I blow this car up. Now, where's Frank? Oh, he's down here getting shot at. We gotta get our assault rifle out and secure a vehicle just in case we gotta leave. Took out those two guys and we have ourselves a vehicle just in case. Frank is taking cover. And we have a helicopter in there. Not anymore. The thing's gone now. This guy is trying to run up. That ain't gonna work. That should put an end to him. We have to take these guys out. Railgun should take out the vehicle and those guys. This guy's right behind us too. Frank's down? Oh, hell. Well, the good news is that the hospital is going to be taking good care of him when he gets there. For now, I'm going to have to handle some business. The missile launcher is out. Let's just blow that. Oh, damn. That was the vehicle we're supposed to be using to get out of here. Kind of messed up there, but oh, well. I'm gonna take these guys out. There's another helicopter. Where is it at? Okay, it's those guys up there. So I'm breaking out the assault rifle again and just doing some shoot. Took two of those guys out. SWAT showing up. Didn't matter. Took out another helicopter right there. Everything is dying goes another car what else is gonna get blown up with this missile launcher usually I don't have this much luck with the missile launcher but this time I'm hitting every single freaking target I'm not even missing watch this dude's gone too that car got 
to do. We have a couple guys behind me. Doesn't matter either. Just shot that guy down and that guy headshot. These guys are trying to hide behind air. That's not going to be working out. That's what you get for hiding behind air. What were these guys thinking? I still don't care. I'm firing. Okay, we need to get out of here. We have like a minute left. Never mind. You know what? We have time. I'm just going to be shooting these guys down. I'm going to be using that car to get away. Let's switch back to... Hold on. The missile launcher. This thing has treated me good so far. Switching back to the assault rifle and taking that guy out along with this guy. Now on to another helicopter. And it's been down. These guys are still shooting at me. Need to take some of them out. I have less than a minute left, so I think it's about time for me to leave. I need to make my exit right about now. So let's go. That guy barely missed me too. Going down this street. They have a barricade. Let me get back out of the car and pull out the missile launcher again. I'm just going to be blowing everything up here just so I can get through. Get shot in the head a little bit. Don't worry about that. We'll be out of here pretty soon. Blew up that row of cars and we have an opening. SWAT has shown up, but we are leaving at the same time. Team. So it seems like we don't have a tire. That is going to be affecting our ability to get away. Now I just got rammed from behind. Still going to be accelerating. Invincibility has deactivated. Taking a right right here. And see if we can't get away. Ah, oh, damn. I just had to run into the semi. Well, you know what? I ain't gonna run no more. Getting out of the car, and we're blowing everything up again. And they've been took out. Now for these guys. And then these guys just ran into my car. That is unacceptable. So they've been taken out. I think we're going too far here. But you know what? It's too late to stop now. Ah, oh, damn. Well, there goes Mike, and we're back at Mike's house. I think he's had a long day so far. So we're just going to be ending the day and just parking this car. I think it looks pretty nice. It's an old school. Wouldn't mind driving it myself. We're just going to be taking the back door this time instead of the front door. That's something called change. And How do we're you in here now. When you haven't done anything? I don't know, Jimmy. I'll have to get back to you a little bit later. Let's get Mike a drink. This will be the end of day 83. Mrs. Hope you had fun watching everything that you had to see. I'm going to be releasing the new day pretty soon, so be on the lookout for that. If you haven't done it yet, you can leave the video a like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell will only help the channel grow. I would like to thank you and everyone that Surely has subscribed to the channel. I do appreciate it. Until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Peace out.